Hello everybody. It's been a while since I made a video. <laughs> I finally got some extra time. I didn't come home exhausted from work because I'm out of work for a little while for Christmas break. And this is a lamp I've had for a while. And I'm wanting to replace these. I always love this lamp. But uh, this is a piece of a curtain that I've got. And I'm wanting to attach it inside there and have the lacy look and then I'll show you how this is attached you can kind of tell there's the thread and then on the inside it's just uh, sewn in there because it's attached to like this ribbon and it's sewn in there and I'm kind of tired of this look although I think it'll look good dark it's a little dusty um, and I could, I was going to go over it with like a brown chalk paint and then wipe a lot of it off, but I can't find a brown one. So, I'm thinking about trying this dark wax, and I'm terrible with wax, but I may give it a shot. And I don't know if I did want to lighten it later, later how I'd get this wax off, or if I'd have to even. I don't know. So, I'll work on the lamp part first since I don't want the lace to get, the, get this on it. And then I'll be back. Well, I'm going to go ahead and show taking this off. This looks like the end. Oh, there's the thread. I think. I hope. Okay. And it'll just come right off. And snip it out here in some areas, make it easier. And then I'll still have this piece if I'm gonna do something with it. You know the uh, danglies. It looks like I had something sticky. They probably stuck it up there and then sewed it. Which is probably a good idea. I may do that myself. Anyway, I'll get the rest of this off. Okay, and there it is, ready to be used in another project. And I got some of the sticky paper stuff out. And what I was thinking about doing, and I may do one day, is sewing Velcro in here. And then Velcro on the lace. That way I could take it off and wash it. But I don't want to fool with all that right now, so I'm just going to sew it on there. The lace directly on there. Okay, I've never used this dark wax. And, uh, at least I don't think I have. But it has been open, so I don't know. I'm terrible with wax. But I'm going to try it, and I'm not going to... It says wait 24 hours and buff it, but I'm going to do all that. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm terrible with wax. I don't follow rules. But I'm going to try it on one side in case it just looks terrible. I just want to cover up a little bit of this. I may have to use paint. Don't seem to be hiding enough of that modern gold kind of stuff. Not sure, but maybe. Take forever to dry that thick, won't it? Hmm. Okay, so there's that side. And then there's that side. That might work. I'll just continue doing that all over and hope it dries before next week. Okay, I think what I decided to do, I done a little bit there. So there's the original, dust and all. <clears throat> and there, I mixed the black ink color and this uh, antique wax. I'll probably do equal parts and put it on there. So that's almost equal parts. Mix it all together. 
Hopefully I don't ring the lamp. <clears throat> Use the brush to get it down and all these grooves good. Okay, let's see how it looks for laps on the way. Might have to wait for it to dry a little while some way. I think it'll look pretty good. Still got a little of the gold shining through, but it's making it darker. I think I like that better. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. I have to watch my let it dry in places. I don't want it to dry solid like that, but mixed with the wax, maybe it will wipe off if I did. There we go. I kind of like that. Okay, and I'll do the rest of it that way. Okay, and on the top, I haven't done this part. I've done this. In these edges and I can probably go back and more off later and I put the dark on there and then I, I smear it with one of these rags that's kind of saturated and then I take a cleaner one and wipe it like right across the, the edge and down here some so I'll show you what I'm talking about It's kind of scary putting all this black on here. <laughs> I figured, well, these kind of lamps are like a dime a dozen, so I had to get another lamp. So I just totally ruined it. I thought about painting it white, white, and then having the beige lace, but you know, it's the beige wall behind it, and then you know, I don't want too many light things. I don't guess it could always be changed if I change my mind. Okay, I got it pretty much black now. And I take this pretty saturated rag and I'll go over this wet area. Smear it around good. And then I'll have to get a clean one. So where was I? Okay. So on this edge, I'll kind of wad it up to where it don't touch everything. It made a definite line, so I'll get my saturated one again. I want that definite line showing. But you see the, the highlight I got there? And then down here, I can do the same thing. And maybe when it's dry, I can go back and wipe off more if I want to. I don't know. <laughs> but it's wax and paint the chalk paint they're supposed to wipe away so but i couldn't press down too hard on this or it'll just look like it used to let's see if any will come off anywhere let me find a dark area i don't look like it's going to come off so i better like it the way it is well it came off there i think yeah it'll wipe off some and I may go back and highlight these. Like. Like that. Is it showing right there? Yeah. Okay. I went ahead and done the top before I finished the lamp because it's got to dry before I can uh, put the lace on it. So, now I got to finish the lamp. Okay, I wanted to show you. Sometimes I think we're too hard on ourselves when we're uh, doing things like this. This is the original, the neck part of the lamp. And look at that. I mean, if I'd painted that, I'd be like, ooh, you know, up close. But, you know, it, it gives a good illusion or whatever. Okay, and this is that section 
where I didn't like it so light around the edge and I went over it with the black mixture and I wiped out some inside these little shapes but it made that light part come out too much. So I'm gonna take this saturated little paper towel and see if I can dab it. It's not so bright. I think that's good. That'd be good. That, that made it tone down a little bit. Okay, and right here, I took this little piece of emery board and just scratched it a little because it's made out of resin or something. The lid can't do it with the emery board because it's made out of metal. So I just rubbed it with a wet cloth to, uh, I'll show it to you. To highlight those areas. And so with this, I'll just get the emery board. Run it around on it, and it highlights it there. Shows up pretty good, doesn't it? Okay, and here's the um, curtain I'm going to use. That's the tabs you hang it from, so I'm going to cut all these off. And there's where I'll stitch it to here, right in this little straight line. And that'll be hanging down. And I may cut the sheer part just to under these little points. I'm not sure yet. I've been kind of experimenting with this piece. And I'm trying to decide if I want to try to connect an edge like this. You know, glue it to wherever it meets. Or if I'm going to use this uh, seam, it's pretty thick. And then just uh, glue it to the back. But that'd be a pretty thick looking seam, so I probably won't use that. I'll probably just, uh, well, I probably won't glue them. I'll probably sew them to the, wherever it kind of meets, kind of match it up. So that's what I'll be doing. Okay, well, camera's too close. I got a lot of it sewn on, but I figured I'd show you. On the inside, I put a knot. I got to thread about three times that long. And I put a knot there. And then I kept running it through into this little strip. It would probably have been easier if I'd used like two sided tape or something. My hand's cramping <laughs> to uh, attach it, you know, lightly before, while I sewed it on. And so, every so often, I'll stop and uh, kind of knot the thread and run it through the loop. So here, I go through it to the other side, pull it through, and like if you had a lamp that didn't have the holes, you could probably drill little holes in one to do this. And so now my thread's on this side. So I'm going to try to hold my material where I need it over that hole and put my thumbnail close by. And then go through this side. And then I went through it. And then I'll... It doesn't matter if it gets loose because I can tighten it up and then you know, do that knot again. Alright. See how it's kind of loose, but I can see how I pull. And that tightens it up. And since I have a knot, like, right in this area, all I've got to tighten up, you know, is a little bit of area. So now I'm going to get this where I want it. Get my thumbnail kind of behind it. Hopefully it's behind it where I don't stab myself. Okay, which side's my thread on? Okay, it's on this side. Now I'm going to pull through. 
and I'll knot it off and show you how I do that. I may knot it off. Well, we'll go a couple more. And right here where the uh, those loop things I cut off were, it's pretty hard to get the needle in. Well, I'll go in under it. I think that's what I've been doing. And later when I have the thread with me, I'll show you what kind of thread I'm using. I think it's a crochet thread. And if you didn't want the thread showing, you could use a darker color if your lamp's dark. So now there's my next hole. Pull that pretty tight. Which side is it on? Wait a minute. I'm losing track of where I'm at. Okay, I go. I gotta go in from the outside edge. Okay. Pull it tight. Thumbnail bite. That's why my hand's cramping. Having to hold it like that. And because I use inhalers. <laughs> they cause muscle cramps for me. Alright. It went in. Luckily it's going in where I want it to. Okay, what I do. Let me get my thread untangled. There we go. Okay, and let's make sure everything's looking okay over here. Okay. Now, I have to hold this thread right here tight. It's hard to do with it this angle and I've just been watching TV while I do this because I could have tacky glued it I guess okay and right there's where three come out so right in this area somewhere I'm going to run the needle in it uh -oh. And then when my little loop gets there, I'm going to run the needle inside the loop. Okay, where's that thread? i got to make sure it's tight. That's not it. There it is. Okay, make sure that's tight. Now I'll pull. And now i got another knot there. And I've been doing it. Two of those. And then I'll finish and stop it right there and then I'm going to try to glue these where they kind of match up okay and I've come to this part this is the thread and um, I guess to end it I should overlap this piece just a little bit I don't know but that's what I'm going to do I'll just kind of hope I'm showing that. Go up between that. Alright, that ought to be good. Alright, I'm going to show you some stuff I used. This is the what, crochet thread. Yeah, crochet thread I used. And it's not like yarn. You don't go in from the inside and hunt the end. It's on the outside. You just have to look for the end. You can tell where I was trying to dig it out of the middle. <laughs> okay. And then the needles I was using was in this pack that I got at Walmart. And it's got this little pouch you put them in. And I got these also. These are doll needles. And that's heavy fabric repair needles. And I got these to upholster an uh, office chair. And so I'm, I'm using them on this. And now, I'm not going to glue that together. I'm going to sew it together. But I changed the needle to a smaller one. And I'm going to match up the little 
wave at the bottom because you know I'm, I saw I'll hide that little piece back there and then right here this side will go over right here that side's on top right here that side will be on top just because it seems to lay better that way and then it stays on top the rest of the way because it's not cut exactly straight which hopefully that won't I'm hoping it won't matter if the bottom's bigger than the top. I don't know. But I got a knot in the end of this. So I'm gonna run it. Well, I'm gonna start. Since I got this extra bit of wave, let me do it this way to show you. This will be in the back. I'm using that same crochet thread. So I'll run it there. Well, and then like right here. Oh. And then let's see, right there. That's not a very far distance, so that's what I want. That way I won't have much thread showing. The crochet thread. And then I'll need some right here at the end. I'll go right here. And I'll go over this end piece. See, because that's where it ends. And I'm going to work my way up. And I'll show you when I get about right here. Okay, so far I've sewn it to here, and you can tell this is where the opening is. And so now, I'll go in right here and connect. Well, that ain't connecting anything. Right there. And that connects the two pieces. Can you see? I hope. And I'm going to pull it through. It keeps trying to tangle as it pulls through. There we go. It's twisted or something. And then... Which way? Then I'll go over this edge see there's the edge of that so I'll go over that edge and into the back piece and even though this crochet thread's not shiny like this it doesn't really show so we're right here so now I'll go in about right here what I probably should have done, my bottom is going to be a little bigger than this top, I believe. I might should have measured to see how big I made the bottom. I don't know if it'll matter. So pull this through, try to get it to not tangle. In the back, I'm trying to get it to not tie into a knot back there. And then I'll go over, and I can't pull too tight or it'll get all puckered looking. So maybe right there. We'll see. I'll just take the needle off and pull the thread back through if it doesn't look right. It doesn't look great, but I think it'll work. Unless somebody's examining it. I don't think they would notice. So I'm gonna do that the rest of the way up and then I'll show it to you. Okay, now what I'm doing, this is the back side. I want this uh, sheer fabric to show right there at the very bottom. And so I'm gonna use some of this uh, 
tacky glue to just kind of glue it down where it won't keep rattling. I had it a little lower, but it kept unraveling. It just didn't look right. So I'll be doing that now. Okay, I've got it finished. My grandson said, grandson said he liked it the way it was before. <laughs> I did too, but I was sick of looking at it that way. Okay, and I'll show you with the light on. And I've got some of that tacky glue on here. It's still wet. And one thing, you have to reach up in it to cut it on now. So I may have to get one of those little... Uh, things you put on the cord where you can just click it on with that little wheel. So I'll cut the lamp on now. I don't know if you can tell how it looks. It made it look so dark. Yeah. And cut it back off. Alright, so there it is and let me know if you agree with my grandson or if you like it better this way. <laughs> I got sick of those ways. I've been that way for years. But it was pretty too. Right. Zoom in again. Zoom back out. And I wanted it to look a little more like old and antique, so I went with the darker. And I may end up painting the uh, the gold colored thing in there dark also. I'm not sure yet. Okay. I decided to take that off and paint um, everything dark. Even that little thing that goes up. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. And now let me cut the light off on it and I'll show you. Okay, there it is with light off. Let's see if I can get it closer. You can kind of see it in there. I think it looks better with it darker. Now with that off, it looks a little funny. But, uh... Well, you can kind of see where I painted everything black in there if I zoom in. Because... That there is what the bulb screws down into and then there's the little things that go up and hold the lampshade on so you can kind of tell from that well, I was gonna say I could raise this up to give you a peek but uh, it might still be wet but you can you can kind of see let me take it off this way See, it's all just paint. I painted it black. And I went in with this paint that they no longer carry. It's kind of a bronzy metallic. And so I went in with that and just dabbed it on top of the black. And so I like it better this way. Anyway, I can't get it back together without looking down in there. <laughs> So that's it. Hope you like it. Bye, y'all.